Gemini, welcome to your personal reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. It's a pleasure to be here. I do do personal readings. The email is in the description box below. Please feel free to contact me. If you can't see the email or it's not readily apparent, click the more button. If this reading doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. Okay, trying to make it fit is not a good idea. I hope you'll stick around for a later reading though. You know, they are different. Perhaps that will resonate with you better. What's going on for the sign of Gemini? Angel spirits guides to which I'm always eternally grateful. Well, King of Pentacles. And a lot of communication. Right? Now perhaps you feel somebody is being a bit too pushy. And you're kind of sticking to your guns at the moment. You're considering it. All right. Do I want to give up my situation or not? That's the question. You could be dealing with a Libra. And as <laughs> the reason I say that, yes, and a lot, I can hear a lot of you saying, oh, this is pentacle energy. That's not Libra energy. I've just done a Libra reading and that card came out in exactly the same position. So you could be dealing with a Libra okay who is mirroring your energy all right you may want to give the libra reading a look all right and yes you're correct it is a taurus virgo capricorn energy it's earth energy very grounded energy it's like you know i'm okay works okay my situation's okay i see the opportunity but do i really want to give up my situation maybe you feel somebody is not not considering the options it's just a straightforward are we going to do it or not mm, what is the underlying energy of this perhaps you're dealing with somebody who is very complacent and doesn't want to give up their situation but uh ten of pentacles mm. well it's like a very intense relationship here and it's a mm, very strong relationship, in fact. Making yourself readily available, despite your situation. It's not a giving up of the situation. It's kind of like bending in the wind energetically and going with the flow to see what happens. But there is news coming in. Somebody here could well be mirroring your situation, okay? There's family involved. There's property involved. Materialistic things are involved. Work's involved. It's kind of a, pretty much I can see developing here is a non-development. There's pretty much a stalemate, but there's emotionally being available gone off in the past here mm. there's been some some kind of focus on changes okay a lot of very very slow moving energy here pentacle energy is the slowest moving energy in the tarot all right and i'm getting here very very slow because of practical issues it's like there's been a stalemate here for a long time now if those of you watching are living with this person and you're in a marriage okay it's it's all about status money property convenience but underneath emotionally it's been kind of rippling You've been focused, whatever your situation and whoever it is you're dealing with, you have been focused on making changes. You're getting brave. You're becoming this warrior for your cause, you know, and you're, you're becoming more defensive. You're facing the challenges. Kind of what won't you see coming? 
What won't you see come out? Choice of the heart. Ooh. Now, now, dealing with a soulmate, some of you, or your, a soulmate's come into your life. And it's going to get you to question all this, all this comfort a lot of you are living in. It's going to, certainly going to get you to question your position and how you've been leading your life. Mm -hmm. It would seem the universe is bringing this person in to shake up your world, this world that you think, that you thought is so stable. And it's, quite, and it's getting you to question your motives for staying where you are. Mm. I'm getting that one or two of you, not all of you are dealing with somebody who is married and has a family. Okay. And there's a lot of complacency and a lot of stubbornness around this. A lot of static energy. Okay. You, you're you seeking the truth. But either way, what I'm getting is, Gemini, you are seeking your independence. This Queen of Swords, she's all about independence. She's, she's ready to cut the losses. Despite the emotions. She's thinking with her head. And this is what I'm getting you're doing, Gemini. Right. Mm. Temperance card. New start. Possibly with a Sagittarius. Mm. This person is showing you a different perspective to life. You know, with all this pentacle energy there, for a lot of you, there's certainly a change in circumstances. Different lifestyle. You know, the implications of this Sagittarius Temperance card is moderation in all things. Bringing balance back into your life. It's What's your energy? What's your energy? You're certainly trying to maintain balance. It's, yeah. It's like your ships have come in. Literally. What you've been asking. You've been asking for changes. You've been focused on changes. I'm getting the universe is granting your wish. But just it's, mani it's being manifested. Not how you thought. So it requires a balance. It requires communication with this Sagittarius energy. As I say, don't worry about if you're not dealing with the Sagittarius. It's just Sagittarius energy. Okay. Your world is being rocked. This, like I say, this world you thought was kind of... You knew where you were going. You were complacent. You were contented. And this is kind of rocking your world. So now there's a hesitation... You realise it's a time for action, but you're hesitating. Mm. What's their energy? What is their energy? Well, they're stressed, or they're stressed over this. Very different lifestyles. The stress over relocation. Leaving the home life. A change of attitude, a change of... Whew. You're very pessimistic about this. You know, this is your energy as well as theirs. It's, it's a lot of stress. It's like you've got what you asked for, but you don't want to give up what you've got. Big thing. This is a big ask of the universe. But it is a test of your metal. If you want to go forward with this, if there's this the need to find a way over this pessimism. Because there's a lack of commitment here. It's like your lifestyle has become habitual and taken for granted. And now your world is being rocked. Mm. Even if you're not dealing with a third party, 
you know, and you're in a marriage or settled somewhere on kind of getting you want your independence, but it's stressed on how to do it, on what to commit to. How, what's the advice here, the guidance? Whoa. See the past how it really was. Don't be pulled in by emotions. It's kind of, you are dealing with a past person, okay? But the past is certainly coming back energetically. All right, and there's reconciliation here. And now there's a choice of the heart. But the advice of the Six of Cups is make sure, you know, if you do this, it's doing it because you want to, not because you're swayed. Mm. This is a logical decision, not an emotional decision. You know, perhaps this past person could be from a long time ago. You could be dating and moving on. I've moved on. This is I'm kind of getting this, this is a bit of this is a bit unexpected. Hmm. But I'm getting this rocking your world. Well, despite split loyalties, there's an ending and a new beginning here. There's an assessment on a way forward. So you're going from a nine to a ten. You have to be pretty clear. You know, you're doing this for your own reasons and nobody else's. With the Ten of Swords there, I always get the don't be, don't let your judgment be affected by other people's opinions. This is this is something you've got to decide to do on your own merits. Okay, therefore you've got the power. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.